There are certain cliques that have always been. You've got the athletes, you've got the, uh, the artists, you know, the people who are into drama and art. Uh, you've got the people that are kind of on the fringe. And sometimes it's, uh, and that's unfortunate because we don't know if they really want to be on the fringe, but they are because it's kind of the consensus of the group. Uh, you've got the athletes, the scholars. I keep people that aren't afraid to try hard in class, even though a lot of people want to, they're not afraid to actually make the effort. Okay, all these different cliques within the building. What type of stereotypes do people give you? Uh, give me? Well, the interesting thing is you're actually, even as a teacher, you're stereotyped. Um, so, you know, people assume that the only thing I do is teach, and as a music teacher, people assume that the only thing I I listen to is classical music. So that that in, in itself is a stereotype. Um, in, um, among sort of people my own age it's a little bit differently, but I'm definitely stereotyped as a geek or as a nerd because of the things that I enjoy uh, and the activities in which I engage. Um, I don't know. I don't really belong to a lot of minorities. So. I don't know, I feel like there's like a, t a white teenage girl stereotype that happens a lot. People are like, oh, so if you drink pumpkin spice lattes and take selfies all the time, YOLO. Well, since I have short hair, some people think I'm a lesbian, and that's kind of weird. Like me personally? Yeah. Not many, really. Not many? <laughs> they might think teenagers are like troublemakers in general. Not really. I'm often called monkey from my heritage. Okay. As a Pacific Islander, I kind of get uh, automatically judged as being smart, and I have to be very knowledgeable about a lot of things, when in reality I'm really not that smart at times. Um, I'm quite clueless about a lot of topics, so that's about it. Kind of strange, crazy, um, psycho. Ethics. Some people might like someone or that would oh, be cool like to hang out with him, but he's in a certain clique and you're in a certain clique and if you're seen doing that, it's not going to go well for you. You know, you jeopardize your own status. So if we could yank all the labels off, it would probably be a whole lot easier. People would have a lot more fun and they could relax. Because I'm sure a lot of people have agendas they don't want everyone to know because it's going to... You know, make people second guess that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. If there are not stereotypes, do you think you have different friends? I don't know, maybe. I mean, probably. Maybe, because you kind of group together with people by like similar tastes and music that you listen to and stuff like that. Friends choose, well, you can't, you don't, you have no choice on how you get your friends, you know? They just come to your life, and then that's how you bond. You, you just don't like choose. And I don't know. No. No, not really. Mm. No, I don't think so. Really. I think the people you hang out with are the people who to 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 truly accept you for who you are. So. Probably not. Why though? Because of the fact that. My friends like me because I'm such a strange guy. Do you think people are too sensitive when it comes to stereotypes? People can be too sensitive, but I don't necessarily think so. I mean, there, there are definitely some very offensive stereotypes. And, and I, in my students, they'll, they'll say things like, Oh, a whole bunch of us went to the mall, we mexi-packed the car. That's a stereotype. That's really offensive. And I think the biggest problem is that people who aren't necessarily classified as part of the stereotype don't realize how offensive it is and don't call other people out for being offensive. Sometimes, yeah. It depends, because there are sometimes there are some stereotypes where it's like people are super duper sensitive about it and like way too much, but there are a lot of others where like you have to be more sensitive because they don't get enough credit. 
somewhat. Some stereotypes can be very hurting to people, which I can understand, but some people are a bit too sensitive to other stereotypes that are okay. They're like, oh my god, stereotypes! Some boys like, look, these happen. You can't get rid of them. They're too, like, they complain about it too much. They have to, like, they have to accept the fact that stereotypes are here to stay. Too freaking... They're too sensitive. Too sensitive. Too, too sensitive. They really are. Well, I personally do not take much offense to it just because I feel like I fully accepted the whole stereotype thing. Um, You're desensitized. Yeah, I'm desensitized by it, yes. I'm used to it. I, that's a hard question because some people work so hard to acquire one, <laughs> you know, that it's, you really can't tell sometimes. Some people are, you have sensitive people everywhere. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter whether they're in a particular group, whatever. some people just react, Instantly. Or overreact yeah. to things that it, normally everybody goes, yeah, cool, that was funny, and they let it go. It's hard to tell. It, that's a personality type thing, you know, it's a trait. Mm -hmm. Being in a white collar town, do you think these stereotypes are more commonly assumed by the general population? Yeah, I mean, because we don't really have a lot of diversity. So when we get someone new, it's like all we have, all the information that we have is like stereotypes that we hear on the internet. It's a bit more uh, sheltered, and they don't, they don't have to like experience too much. Yeah, people tend to be more kind of intolerant around here because most people are similar. I think whether you want to assume that or not, it's kind of levied on you at the beginning. Yeah, they do. They are a bit more common, yeah. I often see it all over the place. I think any place that lacks diversity probably is more prone to stereotyping because they only see what is served up on popular media and they don't have any actual personal experience with other kinds of people. How do stereotypes affect schools and their students? I guess some students can feel like excluded being within a certain stereotype. Um, it's, it's a little bit closer than usual because there's just kind of like almost the same majority of people, the same majority of people, it's not as mixed, so it, it's not as open, like I said before, it's kind of sheltered. It's very white. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers are like more like kind of careful what they say, mm -hmm. and they're like they're not like free. They kind of like have to like be restrain their words. And like I, I want a teacher that you know is freely expresses in themselves. Honest teacher. Honest, yeah. yeah like, like all all stereotypes. But I mean, even look at Columbine. What, what they do is they fragment the the, uh, the population at the school. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people are groups because they want to be. Some people because they feel they have to be, or that's mm -hmm. one that's the group. Yeah. Conform. And that's what the deal was at Columbine. You had some kids on the periphery that took constant abuse, never got any kind of acceptance, whether that was actually their own, you know, desire or not. They were just living out there and the resentment builds up and next thing you know you're gonna buy them out for it. It's, it's sad. But it's labeling and stereotyping really is never good. It just it's so divisive, you know, it just splits everybody up into fragmentary groups. And it's, it's not cool. All right.